Hinduja, a MSc chemistry postgraduate from a small city in our country, reached out to me and said, Sir, I joined chemistry because I really love this subject. I am a big fan of organic chemistry. After my bachelor's, I went ahead and did my master's and now I am stuck. I'm unable to find jobs. Even if I'm getting a job, they are low salary. And because of my economic condition, my father is a farmer, my mother is a housewife, my siblings are younger and they need to go to college. I need to support them. They have supported me. So please help me get a high salary job. So in today's video, I'm here to not just help her. I'm here to help all of you to tell you where are the high salary jobs and how do you get there. So first things first, you have to understand there are two types of jobs. Okay. The first is easy job, but low salary. The second is difficult jobs, but with higher salary, but it can be crowded. But there is a third type, less crowded, less people know, easily you can get it and it is high salary. So we'll talk about the third one after some time. Let's talk about the first two. So getting a job in the industry is easier than the government. The government jobs are stable, rewarding, but static. So you might get bored there. And the third part, which is less known, less crowded. Of course, I'll reveal that towards the end of this video. So let's start with the first type. So typical MSc chemistry job will be a R&D research assistant. You start at that and you'll get to a scientist role. Now, most MSc people think that only a PhD can become a scientist. That's not true. Uh, MSc chemistry can also become a scientist. Okay. Just that the seniority level will be different initially. Like su suppose I'm MSc chemistry starting in 2025. I'll also get a junior scientist role, but my salary might be 50,000. Somebody who's st starting as a PhD today, okay, as of 2025, he might start at 70,000. Okay. But five years later, my batchmate who was doing PhD will again get 70,000, but I will be on 1,20,000 right? Because I have five years of experience, right? So industry rewards experience, not degree. This is something which all of you have to know. Industry wants the degree. They're not saying that you should not have the degree. Degree is required, but they will always value industrial experience over a PhD. Because with experience comes reliability. With experience comes expertise. With experience comes proven expertise right with experience comes efficiency and with experience comes that you are going to be stable person the new guy might not be stable right so this is where industrial experience is valued more over a phd so after msc also if you gain experience you are going to get a high salary so don't worry get started that is very important so initially you'll get a research assistant job but the salary will be around thirty thousand. okay but as it grows, progresses, it will uh, increase. But you have to be very good in salary negotiation, by the way. You should know this. First, prove your talent and then go, be good in salary negotiation. You will definitely get a high paying job. So what is the salary you can get after MSc Chemistry as a scientist in the pharma, specialty chemicals, material sciences and polymers uh, based companies. So if it is a hydrocarbon based company, the salary will be very high. If it is a drug discovery company or a medicine a pharmaceutical company, salary will be high. But the moment you go towards the, you know, F and D, the salary declines. The moment you go towards manufacturing, the salary will decline. Don't go there. Go into the R&D. So companies like Dr. Reddy's, Sun Pharma, Sinjin, BASF, Dow Chemicals, all this will give you a job, right? High paying job after MSc, salary starts at 6 lakhs per annum, goes up to 12 lakhs per annum as you grow, okay? And the same, after gaining some experience in India, if you go abroad, the starting salary is at 25 lakhs per annum and goes up to 50 lakhs per annum, okay? The growth explodes with patents, publications, and expertise, right? And of course, reliability. That's very, very important because nowadays people switch jobs so fast and that is where companies will reward those who stay longer in a, in a company, right? So those people will actually grow faster. Now, the second thing, medicinal chemist you can become a medicinal chemist if you have interest in medicinal chemistry so of course this is best for organic chemistry people not inorganic and physical so the salary will be 8 to 15 lakhs per annum in india starting salary will be 8 lakhs drug discovery companies and cro's right so these companies will hire you but let me tell you this is highly crowded right now 
So if you want to get into this particular field, I'll tell you a little later how to get in. But hold on, let me explain all the other categories also. Then we have analytical scientist jobs. Now for that, you need to have HPLC, GC, LCMS, GCMS expertise. Okay. And not just the expertise, not just the hands-on, the data analysis part. The certifications will come very handy. The Sainika has a lot of certifications on this, by the way. So you can start at a salary of 6 to 10 lakhs per annum after MSc. And there's a high demand of this because in QA, QC, all of this regulatory documentation without the results, without the analytical chemistry reports, you can't file. right? So this is very, very important. That is why companies are ready to pay heavily for analytical scientists. The fourth type of job, which is highly in demand, okay, is process development and scale up chemist. Now, this is something wherein, you know, um, I remember there was a student of mine. So she came up with a new method of scaling up a batch process to 100,000 batches and simultaneously. And the company rewarded her with a triple salary, right? 300%, uh, 200% growth, right? So why it happened is because this API manufacturing, bulk drugs manufacturing, all of this, you know, requires a lot of expertise. So again, a lot of expertise is required here. Initially, it's difficult to get in, but once you get in, best salary, it can go up to 48 to 50 lakhs per annum also. Starts at 7 lakhs per annum. Now, it's a very valuable role actually. It saves the company's crores. Again, here also, uh, I'll tell you how to get in easily uh, as a fresher. Uh, hold on for some time. Now, the fifth category which I have for you is uh, regulatory affairs. So, what happens in regulatory affairs or compliance expert, you know, all these companies are really scared of government. Once the government comes, okay, so uh, for you, it's a job. For them, it's a business, right? If government comes and shuts down their business, they are out of business. So many people will lose jobs, their products, everything. Investors will lose money. So what do they do? Okay, they will hire and pay heavily regulatory affairs, uh, you know, people. So in pharma, chemicals, medical devices, you can get jobs easily. Now, government means USFDA, EMS, in India, the CDSCO. So all these people have regulations. They have to follow. And that is where your expertise comes into picture. So after MSc in chemistry, if you do a regulatory affairs, global regulatory affairs training at Rasainika, you can easily get a job here also. Now, the sixth one is quality assurance and quality control. Now, here actually, initially, the salary will be less. Okay, this is something you should know. 25,000 rupees per month salary will come. But as you grow, it will explode. Where it goes, initially, it will be 5 to 10 lakhs per annum. But as you grow, it goes to 30, 40 lakhs per annum also. Okay. So, and here you get leadership roles because the entire plant QAQC you are managing as a head. So that is where a lot of money is to be made. Now, petrochemicals and polymer scientists, you can become again, uh, Reliance, IOCL, Shell, Exxon is hiring. Uh, you get a long-term stable career, capital intensive industry. So, of course, you can't start your own startup. You have to just join them. Starting salaries at 9 lakhs per annum goes up to 25, 36 lakhs per annum also. Now, hydrocarbon industry is the most rewarding industry. You can go to Gulf countries also and get a job after getting experience here in the hydrocarbon companies in India. So, that is a shortcut for you if you want to do. Now, comes to coming to the third type of job which I told you, remember? Less crowded, more money, more growth and you can start your own company also, right? Which is that? computational chemistry, AIML in chemistry. Now, let me give you an example. So, I want to start a factory. How much money I need? I'll need a crore, maybe two or five or ten or hundred crores, right? I cannot compete with the reliance there. But if I have to, you know, start an AIML in chemistry company, I just need a laptop and coding skills, which I can learn. I've learned it. You can learn it. If I can learn it with my busy skill, why can't you learn it? You can do that. Okay. So, when you become a computational chemist, okay, it's highly paid heavily in demand why because industry loves three things okay profit efficiency lesser time right so if a process is taking so remember the batch scale up i told you there also this comes so the person is able if you if your research or if your algorithm or if your you know whatever you create saves the time of course saves the money and increases the profit of the company people will hire you that is where computational chemist and AI chemistry roles are in heavy demand. This is a computer engineering degree, I mean, computer engineering skill set in chemistry. Now, see, I'll tell you two approaches. I go and teach chemistry to a computers guy or I teach a chemistry guy computers, which is easy. 
of course you will tell me teaching computers is easy, easy to a chemistry guy because teaching chemistry to a computers guy is near impossible here he won't understand right so you combine your chemistry skill with python ai and future proof your career that is where the real money will be the real money is sitting inside your computer when you learn ai ml and chemistry and that is why rasayanika is coming up with the ai ml and chemistry internship starting from 22nd of december details are given in the description you can whatsapp me and talk to me and our team and then you can become the highest paying most rewarded career owner in this country and the world now apart from that of course you have technical sales jobs which gives you a lot of money you have companies like thermo fisher agilent mark which will get you now coming to the government what kind of jobs are available in the government so you know when our country got independence uh, 1947 there was a huge gap in the science there was no one who had expertise right so what they did is they created a network first they created central bodies and then they created a network of labs under every body so you have isro drdo bark and csir starting salary is at 60000 rupees it goes up to 2 lakh rupees okay and you get on the top of it you get housing you get pension you get prestige and you get to contribute towards the country so this is a very good job then we also have public sector jobs in iocl ongc bpcl hpcl now these are semi government through gate exam you can get in best roi careers so you can get here and a lot of ai ml is going on in these uh, you know uh, government institutions also so if you learn ai ml in chemistry you can get into government uh, also now there are scientific officer jobs like in forensic labs pollution control boards and fssi lab so there you can get a lot of uh, job security and the salary goes up to 10 lakhs per annum then you have patent analyst again you can become a patent examiner if you enjoy your chemistry and you understand law you go for that then you have forensic scientist again the salary will be 6 to 9 lakhs there are government uh, jobs easy one chemistry remember i told you easy job less paying chemistry lecturer okay freedom is there but salary is low people think that it is a easy job so anyone can get it it pays you less if you are a chemistry guy and if you are getting into teaching i would say you know it's a very good job you're doing a um, lot of service to the human kind but not to yourself right but you have to support your family so instead of becoming a chemistry lecturer at least try your hand in the industry at least 10 20 years work in the industry then you become a professor makes sense earn the money then you do the service that's fine okay then we have drug inspector upsc uh, state public service commissions they will give you job uh, permanent job high authority in pharma regulation you can become a drug inspector you can go to factories audit them so that is where high paying jobs are right so my advice my smart advice to all of you would be understand this long term earning potential of all these fields number 1 is ai ml and chemistry number 2 is medicinal chemistry number 3 is uh, getting into government job through gate exam number 4 will be regulatory affairs number 5 will be petrochemicals okay why number 5 for petrochemicals is because it is crowded now now the smart advice is after your msc do some training 2 to 3 months of training at rasayanika you can do for ai ml niche specialization do some certification do the project of course sarsainika has a industry or a recognized project from another pharmaceutical company which you which you can do you get industry exposure and then you strategically get a job and that is where actually chemistry is not a low paying career chemistry is a high paying career but unidirectional approach is required okay so today i could i hope i could map the high salary jobs for msc chemistry but you know i am human i might have missed, made mistakes or i might have missed out some pointers so go ahead and uh, put that down in the comment section now remember i told you three jobs first is uh, high paying jobs but crowded uh, low paying jobs easy jobs but uh, you know and the third was one was uh, less known jobs but gets you a maximum salary and that is ai ml and chemistry you can learn that two three months of training and you can get a job in as a ai ml computational uh, chemist lot of money to be made in the world of chemistry using ai ml and computational chemistry so all the best to all of you let me know in the comment section what number you need and i'll be right there to support you all the best